Finally, let's look at the actual practice of making HVAC drawings. Now, there are several standards that you will want to be familiar with if you work in the field. One of them is an ASME standard, formerly ANSI, it's, I think it's changed to ASME, and it is the list of symbols that you use. And I think these are the symbols that appear in our book. Uh, we've already talked a little bit about ASHRAE, so there are the standards, um, not about making drawings, but about how big to make things. The ACCA, Air Conditioning Contractors, has some um, standards about designing ductwork and uh, sizing equipment. And finally, SMACNA, uh, Sheet Metal and Air Conditioning Contractors, have uh, a standard, a CAD standard, that you might be interested in. If you have a small house or a small system, you don't necessarily need a separate drawing sheet. You can just make your HVAC equipment part of your floor plan. Some people do that. And in that case, your sheet number is just A101 or whatever the case may be. If you have a bigger house or a bigger uh, HVAC system, you might decide that you need a separate sheet for HVAC. And HVAC comes under the category of mechanical. HVAC is a kind of mechanical system. And so our sheet name starts with an M, M for mechanical. If we have a separate HVAC drawing, it'll be M101, for example. And when we're creating a new layer for our HVAC stuff, uh, now we're not saying A dash something or other, we're saying M dash something or other, because all of our HVAC equipment is mechanical. So these CAD layers begin with M. For example, our ductwork and registers might be on the M dash HVAC layer. Now here's the thing. Uh, if you're doing a separate plan, for your mechanical system, you want to communicate to the contractor information about this mechanical plan. They don't need to know all about the walls. You already built the walls. You're trying to tell them about the ductwork and the registers and the plenum and all that. So in order to communicate clearly, in a separate mechanical plan, you'll make the wall lines thin and you'll make the ductwork lines thick. And I don't know if you can see uh, in this example, um, but he has made the walls thin and the ductwork thick, so they do pop out a little bit better. And then, uh, like in other kinds of architectural drawings, you, you provide labels, and here you'll have to use your judgment about what kinds of stuff are you going to list on your schedules and what kind of stuff are you going to write right on the drawing. Uh, for example, the ductwork, you probably want to label right here on the drawing. Here is an example out of our book of a simple plan. He doesn't do too many of those. And here is an example out of our book of a more detailed plan with more equipment stuff in it. Now here in the lower right, you can see the, the ductwork and the sizes written on the ductwork and so forth. Then in our worksheet, uh, we're going to look up the meaning of some symbols. So here is the table uh, that goes with that assignment. I've also put this table on a separate handout so you can find it real easily. Uh, but these are the these are the standard symbols. Uh, for example, let's see, let's look at some. Well, here's a damper for some ductwork. Here's a ceiling diffuser. You can see a couple of different symbols for here's a floor supply outlet with a plain rectangular box. And here's a floor register. So they're basically located in the same spot, 
the outlet is if you are just thinking about um, here's where the duct and its boot comes up through the floor there's the outlet the register is if you're thinking about okay here's the actual piece of hardware with those louvers in it uh, there's what it looks like here's a thermostat that black thing is just the wall so the T in the circle is the thermostat um, and various other doodads here so that's all we need for our assignment. Uh, for your reference, I have put some other tables in here, maybe more than you need. Uh, here are some tables from the ASME standard. Um, and notice, uh, this is slide 12, notice over here where it's talking about um, convection heating using things like hot water. Look here. Here's that bow tie symbol again that we saw back when we were talking about plumbing. Here it is again, bow tie equals valve, yay. And symbols that you'll use if you're doing refrigeration, sim uh, refrigeration drawings. Now, if you're doing um, refrigerated cases for grocery stores, you'll use these a lot. Here's some more of them. Uh, what are these? These are these are kind of repeats of what we see in our handout, although there are some piping symbols here additionally. Here's a better view of the piping symbols. So sometimes you need to make your own line type because you need to be putting uh, an identifier in the middle of your line. It can be done. I don't know how, by the way, but you can do it. <laughs> Uh, these symbols are from a big handbook that architects refer to called AIA Graphic Standards. And as you probably know, AIA stands for the American Institute of Architects. So here is their big graphic standards book. You can see these symbols look pretty much like the ASME symbols. And here is AIA's refrigeration symbols. Again, they look the same as the ASME symbols. And then uh, these are out of Madsen, who co-wrote our textbook, and who uh, he also wrote the other drafting textbook we use in some of our classes. So these are all just for your reference. Uh, mostly you'll just want to refer to that handout.